Welcome back y'all, in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to design like Hellstar. Hellstar is a really popular brand right now, so I'm going to show you how to design like them so you can make inspired graphics. So first off, what I started with was using this picture from Google. Now, I wouldn't recommend using like Shutterstock images without having the rights to them, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to use it anyways. I'm just going to mask out uh, the background and then delete all this extra text, so... I'm just going to reposition him here and then put him up about on an angle so he looks just to give it like a little bit more uh, like depth, you know, makes the design look a little bit better if he's not just like there. But I'm just going to put a threshold on that and then just play around with the, uh, the threshold levels, you know, try and get that, uh, get as much detail as possible. And then I'm going to go in here and just get in a... Uh, like the brush tool and just paint in some more details. That's my ultimate goal. So, uh, actually this is a little bit too much opacity. I like to bring it down to about like 5%. And then I just like to paint in some areas, you know, just to give it a little bit more detail. Don't really have to go too crazy with this. I went a little bit overboard in my opinion, but for the sake of this video, it doesn't really matter. Now I'm going to add a pattern layer. I'm just going to put in like a uh, um, like a half tone to give it some extra cool little details. I would recommend doing this because it gives your design a lot more um, depth and just looks a lot better. I'm just going to adjust the scale in here too. After I get this, um, this half tone effect that I want, I'm going to adjust the scale to make it a little bit bigger just so that it, um, you know, looks more of like a hell star design in my opinion. And yeah, this first one's gonna work the best, honestly. You can really use whatever, just play around with it, be creative. And now I'm just gonna put a mask on here and I'm just gonna uh, erase some details. And then why I use that pattern, um, that pattern uh, layer is to give it a live like effect so you can see what you're doing in real time. I'm just gonna erase this um, his like shoulders and stuff because it gives the design a little bit more like, you know, like I said, depth, detail, um, doesn't make it look like it's like an, a random PNG from the in, the internet. And then what I'm going to do now is mask out his eyes or just erase his eyes, his pupils, because this, a lot of these cells that designs actually have like, um, designs on the eyes and stuff. So I'm just going to quickly do that. And then I grabbed this uh, spiral from the internet. Um, like I said, again, it was from a vec free vector site. I'll link it in the description. But I'm just basically going to put that in for the eyes. And then it gives that cool little, like, effect that um, Hellstar has. You know, they uh, have their, like, spirals and the eyes. And especially in this design that I uh, showed you and that we're recreating today. I'm just going to play around with the sizing, just make it look, you know, a little bit more better, make it uh, more cohesive. And I'm actually going to make this a little bit smaller, just because, like, I think it's a little bit too big right now. So we're just going to, yeah, that looks a lot better. Yeah, it definitely, like, matches with the uh, halftone more and just the overall image better, in my opinion. But, like I said, you can just work with it, you know, play around with it, and then try and achieve your desired effect. Now what I'm going to do here is just, just fixing up the edges a little bit, you know, making it a little bit look a little bit better to my liking. You can play around with it, play around with your designs, take as long as you need to make your designs. And now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to paint in the flames that uh, Hellstar actually has on the, like, the head. They, like, 
have some flames coming out of the head. I'm just going to paint those in real quick. You should, ideally, I would use a vector pack, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to show you how to do it without a vector pack. Now, you're just not going to get like the exact effect that your uh, that Hellstar has. Here, let me just, I don't yeah, let me just redo this. This is not, yeah, it's going to take a little bit of tries, but I'm just going to paint it out for you. I messed up here. It's good to mess up. It's good to try again. Just erase it and keep going. And now basically I'm just going to connect it. As you can see here, I draw a line through the scalp, but I'm basically just going to connect it so I can quickly just uh, use the paint paintbrush tool and then fill that in for ease. I'm going to quickly throw in a color overlay because it actually gets rid of all the details, you know, just makes sure that the whole, like, the whole thing is, you know, one solid color. It'll help when, like, making your designs. I would recommend it. So I'm just going to magic tool the inside of here and I'm just going to paintbrush it and then I'm just going to select the white area in here. And then, yeah, as you can see, I'm just going to do the white area and then I'm just going to do the paintbrush tool again and then boom. Now you have kind of like a rough little flame effect coming out of the head. It looks kind of cool. Now, a lot of Hellstar designs have this like starburst effect. Like this, uh, like <laughs> I like to call it a Star Wars hype, hyperspace, hyperspeed, whatever it's called. But I got this from Google by basically just um, uh, taking all the black from the background and then just inverting it and then. Now you can just play around with this, you know, move it around. Now for the text, I'm using Hadex font from Defont. Um, I would recommend purchasing these fonts for commercial use for your designs since I'm pretty sure this one is a personal font or personal use font. So I'm just going to kind of bring it about yay big. Hellstar Designs have very big, bold logoing. They have their logo in pretty big text. And usually it's at like a cool little angle. I would recommend making your design or your logo like at an angle or um, especially if you're trying to re like um, recreate like a Hellstar effect, ma mainly because um, they have like a lot of oversized prints. I'm just gonna resize this to make it better for what I'm gonna do, and just play around with the Hellstar logo. And I'm just gonna duplicate this. Oops. Don't want to do that. I actually prefer to lock the pattern layer so it doesn't, you don't end up like, you know, accidentally dragging and dropping it. It's annoying. But I'm just going to duplicate this and kind of bring it at an offset because once I'll show you, it'll create kind of like a 3D effect. So then I'm going to use a stroke and color overlay to easily have this. And then I'm going to find that like signature pink on that shirt. It's a very bright, vibrant pink. Um, a lot of Hellstar designs have a lot of vibrant colors. It seems to be their theme. And I'm just going to move this down a little bit. And right around there, it gives like the nice depth look. Has that Hellstar look. You can easily tell it's a Hellstar inspired design. And I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to go down here and then add some more text. I'm just going to use the same font, but ideally you should use a you know, different font for the um, bottom, but it generally doesn't really matter as long as you have a vision and you're going for it. I'm just going to size this to about right around here. And then I'm going to try and mask out this, uh, like this kid, so you can kind of see the text a little bit better. Like effects like this usually help your designs, you know, just look the part, just look a little bit better. And 
Now you can, you ideally should go about this a different way, but I kind of was struggling here and it was 12 o'clock at night. So I was just trying to, you know, get it done. What I would do next time is just mask it out with like the eraser tool or a paintbrush tool it would be way easier because I'm going to end up changing the text anyways. Yeah, as you can see here, then it just, it looks okay. It looks okay. But for the sake of the video, it doesn't really matter. And then I'm just going to duplicate this text here and then change this to the main font. Uh, the reason why I'm, or not the main font, the main text, the reason why I'm changing it is because, or doing it separately, is because a lot of health service designs have like um, one word that's just, that's just either bolded, just a different color that looks different from the other text. And then I'm just going to do the rest of this text. Pretty simple, pretty simple, nothing too crazy. And then I'm just going to play around with the composition. Um, as you can see, I tried to put it underneath here, but there's just not enough space. And it just, in my opinion, didn't look that great. So I'm just going to put a little bit overlapping just to give it that depth effect that um, Hellside Designs have. And now I'm going to do the same thing as I did for the main logo, just do the color overlay and the stroke. And then for all the other ones, um, I'm just going to do the stroke and then a white color overlay because in Hellstar Designs, they actually like just have like a cool little like, uh, like a stroke effect, nothing like, you know, just an outline effect. I'm going to do the same for the other one as well. No, mind me here, I'm just being nitpicky with my design, just doing some random stuff. And I'm actually going to play around with the stroke size because you ideally don't want to have it the same stroke as like your main um, text that have the bigger, the bigger strokes. Honestly, it just looks better. It just, you know, flows better. So I'd recommend just making that a little bit thinner. It just adds depth to the actual design and, you know, just makes it look better. So this is pretty much it for the, um, like the text or the main text. You see how there's like kind of like a little bit of negative space to the left here on the right next to the kid. There's actually a part in the design where it, um, and I'm just going to add like a little art, our, like arching effect here just to uh, give it some more depth. I would recommend playing around with this stuff. It takes time to learn, you know, but just uh, play around with what looks good. You know, this gives it a little bit more depth, you know, makes it look like it's like flows a little bit more, gives it that Hellstar kind of look. Hellstar designs are like really like, um, you just have that look to it. I can't really explain it, but right here, there's actually a, um, a uh, text that goes vertically in the design that I'm going to recreate. I think it looks really cool. So I'm just going to enter and then, yeah, type it in like that. And then I'm just going to make the uh, text spacing really low. So it like kind of touches like so. And then I'm just going to con uh, command T and then just really stretch that out to my liking. I like it like this. I think it looks cool. And then I'm going to go into my blending options and then do a stroke make that on the outside or the inside and then my color overlay again and it kind of already has the stroke that I like so I'm just going to keep it like that I'm going to size it up a little bit you know make sure it just flows better and then I thought I grabbed this uh texture from Dorn Studios his plastic all texture kit I would recommend getting this one of my favorite and then I'm um, in order to like get the actual texture onto your design go to um select and then color range I play around with it, but I like to keep my fuzziness at around 20 and then my range like around 160 to 180 ish. That way you get all of the detail and it really looks like a real, real textured. So once you just play around with this, um, keep that at 20. Ideally don't, don't really put it anywhere else. I click okay. And then Actually, what you're going to want to do is mask that out. So boom, all of the black is gone and what's there is the white. 
and then add your entire design to a group and then just command or alt drag onto the actual group and boom now you have a design that has fully textured and now you have a hellstar design now you have a design that is hellstar inspired with textures and everything so and there you have it now you have a hellstar inspired design created in photoshop let me know in the comments if you create your own hellstar graphic using these steps i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and thank you for watching and i'll see you next time